This is Real AI. Want to learn how to make awesome content? So, you've come here to learn how to use ChatGPT, create awesome AI images, and how to make those awesome AI images actually speak to you. Um, welcome to Mind Blown. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to get these pieces of technology going. Fascinating world of artificial intelligence awaits. Uh, massive application for you, your business, entertainment. Um, and ultimately anything you can think of creative landscape is, is wide open so straight into it chat GPT sign up for the free trial or take out the subscription um, what we're going to be doing today is creating a, a bit of a blurb just to get it um, get it moving create a nice generic sort of message let's, let's start off with something like create an introduction to AI so let's hit the enter button and as you can see chat GPT is busy writing a piece of um, Blurb that we can now take into our um, uh, into our next part of the video. Um, it's simple as that. You can type any message over here, and um, you can pop in saying something like, um, "What is artificial intelligence?" And it will basically give you a, a whole bunch more um, reading material that you can die. Um, it does learn from what you've previously typed, so you can expand or attract or elaborate on certain parts of the um, of the message that's come through. Um, that'll be for another video. I'm not going to take you through that right now. All right, so now you've got a piece of uh, um, uh, information you want to share with the world and pop it into a character. Let's go into Mid Journey. So in your website, um, in Google, whatever um, browser you use, uh, type in Mid Journey. You're going to have to sign up. Um, there's a free trial and um, it is well worth it. Um, the server may be a bit slow on, on some days. Um, I recommend that if you want to spend 10 bucks, um, just pop it in and you'll get uh, way more than 10 bucks worth out of this particular piece of software. So, Midjourney is the software we're going to use to create some cool um, AI images. Um, think about it, think about it like this: it's your own personal graphic designer. Um, you just don't pay them that hourly rate. Absolutely excellent for small, medium, um, or even starting up uh, businesses. So, great application here. All right, so let's go into Midjourney. So you'll basically you have a collection of what you've created previously. Um, everything is stored in is stored in a discord environment so discord is really the engine the ai engine that um, powers up um, the ai images so what you're going to see over here is the mid uh, mid journey um, engine it looks a little bit busy but uh, don't let that um, turn you off all we want to do is go down to our newcomer rooms uh, you can see a new newbies 48 newbies 18 these are just the two chat rooms or the two rooms that you use to engage with the engine so give it a click on newbies 18 and um, as you can see here somebody's already been creating content so just a reminder all the content you create is publicly available um, mid journey is creating a platform where everybody can learn and share from each other um, so as you can see here, somebody's obviously fascinated by Jennifer Lawrence um, and some birds. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop in our own um, little uh, uh, piece of information that we want to try and get out. So um, if we wanted to try and get a picture of a, uh, let's go with a photorealistic image of a beautiful American female aged it's a good age. Oh, let's make it 30. It's quite a bit younger than I am. Marketing professional with makeup and corporate look. And let's make it 8K. And let's use version 4. All right. So all we do is type in forward slash imagine. It'll then come up with a little space where you can type in what you'd like. The more descriptive you make the, the text, the more um, Mid Journey is going to uh, take that information and translate it into something uh, visually appealing. So the more descriptive you are, the, the better the image is going to be. All right, so what's going to happen now is we pass the, in, uh, the query to the engine, and it does take a little bit of time, um, but always well worth the wait. All right, so as you can see, it's starting to come up over here. 
um, it's slowly rendering the, if you put, got a paid version uh, these images will start coming up faster and you can use parameters to make them go even quicker so again um, well worth the well worth the spend here um, I'm not in any way affiliated with Midjourney chat GPT um, but yeah I, a big fan of the tools all right so let's have a look here where did it go all right great so Here's the four images that it's created. You can click on it. And um, not bad for a first go. Um, as you can see here, some pretty decent images of some of some females. We're looking around about 30. And um, yeah, for five seconds worth of effort, I think that's a pretty decent start. So what we'll do is click on that. Um, now, if you'd like to take one of these images, so the quadrants were one, two, three, and four. And um, I quite like quadrant number two, so we click on the U2, which means upscale, which ultimately means take that image, and that's the image that we would like to use. Um, if you'd like image number four, which is bottom right, you click on the U4. Um, if you don't like any of these images, uh, you can click on the refresh um, uh, symbol over there. Alternatively, if you like image number two, you can click on V2 to create variations on that image. Um, I won't do that now. Um, I'll give you a, a chance to play with it. So. I like image number two, so I'm going to click on upscale two. All right, so what it does now, passes the information back to the server, and the server says, all right, you like image number two, let's clean it up a little bit, let's add a little bit more detail, um, and make it look awesome for you to use in, in whichever environment you would like. Um, so as you can see, it's creating it over here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of images that are being created by other uh, content creators all over the world awesome inspiration um, there's some people out there that have created some fascinating fascinating uh, pictures already um, and as you can see this is a tool that people are actively using so let's just give this a go it's still busy waiting that is a cool bird actually I mean, to get somebody to commission that bird for you, uh, or to create that bird for you, would take a couple of hours, I'm guessing. Somebody's just quickly typed in a couple of commands here, and off they go. Um, and they're probably going to charge somebody a couple of hundred bucks to do that. So, business opportunity, I don't know. Just don't make it too obvious that you're using AI tools, right? All right, so here's my beautiful American female. And ready for me to use all right so uh it is a bit of a, a bit of a pain to scroll up and down um but that's just unfortunately the interface at the moment so just scroll down to get to the last message um, which would usually be yours or you can just click on the filter button over here and you can filter by yours by your name and um, that'll be a different video to learn how to optimize use within these tools this is just a quick dirty how to use all right, so once you're happy with that photo, we can then go um, go to the web. Let's open it up, and now it will take us into our collection space. All right, that looks great. So there's a there's a little button over here which we can click. We can click on that over there. Add it to your collection. All right, and then click on save. It's going to save it down, and that's it we've created a avatar that we would like to create um, some content with so easy as all right now the next part of our um, journey is to make that avatar speak all right so we've taken we've got the text from chat GPT um, about the artificial intelligence we've got an image of a person that we would like to do the speaking for us and now we'd like to get that image to actually realistically speak so I use a software called DID um, type into your Google browser there's a free trial and um, uh, I highly recommend once your free trial is up you you take on the um, paid subscription again multiple applications you can use this for but awesome content all right so once we're in here um, we can create a new video so let's just click on this little bob over here and just say here uh, my new avatar all right um, all right let's go add 
and let's go and find our image that we just downloaded. All right, there they are. And that's looking pretty beautiful. Now, what do we want this particular person to say? Uh, again, so we just go back to ChatGPT. Um, and we can copy that. Pop it into the right hand side over here and choose the location, choose the um, accent that you would like. Um, I've got no uh, bias towards anywhere. Um, so whichever audience you're aiming for, pop it in. Uh, you've obviously got a number of voices. You've got male, male voices um, and female voices. Um, have a play around with them um, and see which ones you like. And you can choose the style that you would like them in as well. So it's an assistant, a chat person, customer service, and newscaster. Um, have a play around with them. To fit, see what feels right for you and um, what, your, what your message is about to be. Uh, you can click on the Listen button, and it will ultimately create a, um, a bit of a playback for you, just so you can understand how it's going to sound. And um, yeah, you can make your final choices from there. All right, so you've uploaded a photo, you've popped in your text. Um, all you need to do now is click on Generate Video. All right, it'll tell you how many credits it is. So it's based on the type of, or on the length of the video. Uh, so if it's anything over 30 seconds, it'll be about three three credits. Anything under 30 seconds or 30 seconds is about two credits. Uh, don't quote me on that. Subject to change. Um, but again, all we do is click on Generate. Um, and this will take a couple of seconds. All right, so busy creating. All right, and it's done. We have now created our video. If we click on play. It should show you an AI software refers to computer programs that use algorithms and statistical models to simulate human intelligence and decision making. Pretty cool. All right, so we've done that now, and ultimately we can close that off, and uh, you can take this um, newly created video. Pop it into your channel, pop it into your work context, pop it into anything you'd like, and uh, off you go. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.